Well, good morning. Welcome back to the Queets Rainforest in the Olympic National Park in uh, western Washington. I was here yesterday, but it was pouring rain. <laughs> if you didn't see that video. This trail that I'm walking on now is covered in like three to six inches of water. I had to have my rain boots on. Um, I think I got a couple good pictures, but it was hard to really slow down and relax because it was just such intense weather. And then of course, because I ran into the bear <laughs> 20 yards away. So hopefully we don't stumble across that guy today. Or if we do, hopefully it's not a surprise and it's from a distance. Yeah, I decided to come back, um, check it out again, see if I can improve on what I got yesterday, explore a little bit further down the trail into the forest. Hopefully come away with some nice rainforest images. I say rainforest, it might not be what you think of as a rainforest if you're not familiar with this part of the world. It's a temporary rainforest. Hence the, the many layers of clothes I have on, even in July. It's chilly in here, but it does get a lot of rain. I think something like 12 feet a year. I don't know, a lot of rain. Uh, this is not the rainy season for the Queets Rainforest, but I nice step a little bit of rain. I'm always a big fan of visiting rainforests when it's raining, even if it makes the photography a little bit harder. So I've got a shot set up of, uh, of this tree again. I've, I think I've photographed this tree at least three times now, maybe twice yesterday, so this might be the fourth time. It's such a lovely tree and there's such a nice amount of uh, kind of empty space behind it that you really get some nice depth and separation that you don't always get in forest photography. Um, it's not foggy here, but it's raining hard enough that it, it definitely adds an extra layer of depth that you wouldn't get otherwise. Fortunately, I'm under a pretty, pretty nice tree covering here, so I'm not getting wet. Yeah, there's really something to be said about being able to be fairly comfortable in, in a landscape photography shoot because I'm able to just really slow down and I don't feel any rush. I can take as much time as I want with this composition. Try the camera vertical, horizontal, a little bit higher, a little bit lower. Really dial it in, getting to know the scene a little bit better, trying things out, seeing what doesn't work. I took a test shot really quickly and I like it, but I'm, I like the glistening and the reflection on the wet leaves, but I'm, Worried that it'll be a little bit too overpowering, so I'll probably take a couple shots with uh, the polarizer on to different degrees of polarization as well. Really like the really big maple tree that you can just see the, the trunk in the distance through the V in this tree here. I think that is uh, much better than what I've got before. Partly because of the conditions, super soft light, the, the rain's nice, the leaves are wet. Partly just because I took maybe 20 minutes and really tried different things, tried different compositions, different aspect ratios, moved the camera around a little bit. I feel like when I get into this this headspace, that's when the really good stuff comes. Sometimes it takes a couple days on a trip to really get there. Which is something to be said for slightly longer trips than I've been doing lately, I suppose. In any case, I think it's a good shot. I like it a lot.
I don't know if that shot was wide enough to get an entire tree just came down. It was scarier than seeing the bear yesterday. Jesus. This feels good. I feel like it's been a while since I've gotten into this much of a flow state on a photography shoot. I think it's partly because the light's just really nice and it's it's not changing very quickly and I don't feel a rush. Partly just because I really like being in the rainforest like this. But man, I don't know. I could have been doing this for an hour or five hours already and I Feel like I would have no idea. Just completely lost in the process. Really enjoying it. I think uh, got some nice trees over here that again I shot yesterday, but in a pretty different frame of mind. Conditions are pretty different. Let's see if we can make something out of this as well. Okay, this is another composition or subject, I suppose, that I saw yesterday. Just working on finding the right angle, you know, go up and down, left to right, see how things change with the parallax shift. What a cool place to have entirely to myself. Haven't seen a single other person here in the two days that I've been out exploring and I'm not far from the car. I think I've made it maybe, maybe a half a mile from the car at the most. It's just kind of remote. One of my favorite places to explore in the Olympic Peninsula. I could keep shooting all day. The light's amazing. There's no shortage of subjects. Definitely no shortage of compositions. The limiting factor here is me. <laughs> I only really have a few hours at a time of focused concentration like that, especially in a scene as chaotic and compl complicated as forests, especially a forest like this. It's amazing, but after a few hours of uh, deep concentration like that, I'm done. I'm exhausted. And I just feel myself starting to fade. So I'm going to head home. I've got about a four hour drive ahead of me. But I think I got some good pictures between yesterday and today. I'm glad that I slowed down and just explored this one little patch of woods. It's a really, really good trip. Glad I didn't get eaten by the bear that I saw. <laughs> Wish I would have gotten a photo or some video footage of it, but that's all right. I'm sure I'll see another one sometime. For now, I'll say thanks so much for watching. Thanks as always for the support, and I'll see you next time. Bye.